Hi guys, Harry here from Colour Pencil Reviews. Um, I finally got round to doing this. This is my review of the Caran Dice Luminance colour pencils. This is uh, my 76 set. Now a couple of things about this. Before I get into all the nitty gritty about the actual pencils and what they can do and what they can't do, the pros and cons, that type of thing. Um, the price of the Caran Dice Luminance range are probably the most expensive colour pencils on the market at the minute. Um, Caran Dice pencils in themselves are quite expensive, but the Luminance in particular is really expensive. Now for this for this 76 set, uh, it cost me £189, I think it was, in and around that price bracket, which actually was the cheapest I could find. Uh, they do a few different ranges. They do a 20 set, a 40 set, the 76 set, and then they also do uh, an 80 set, but that's in a wooden box, and it's uh, a little bit more expensive. Obviously, you're paying for the wooden box presentation set with that. So, as you can see here, this comes in a, like a, it's a cardboard box. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, I think you can get the 76 in a tin as well. Uh, I'm not too sure, maybe they've stopped the tins. But this one here, as you can see, it's a, a wooden box. But it's it's really it's sturdy like so whenever you're ordering these when they come in transit they're going to be well protected. Uh, as you can see here in the lid it has like a soft rubber foam on the top to protect the top layer of pencils. Uh, now the top layer of pencils, the tears themselves, as you can see, each pencil is kind of snugly held in there with. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that because of this light. Um, they're held in there with the same rubber foam that's on the lids and then each slit, each tear on the bottom has um, a rubber foam pad all along here so the, the tear underneath is going to be well protected. So you can see there that the colours are nice and vibrant. Um, that's the first tear. Then the second tear now I, I've used these obviously and I, ha I don't think I've put them back in, in ex exactly the way that they came. So they're maybe a little bit random. Uh, the colours probably aren't together. But as you can see there the colours that uh, come in this set are absolutely beautiful. Now you may not be able to see the colours too well in this one because this third and final tier is actually part of the box. You can't lift it out. Uh, and again, it's all the pencils are in the uh, held in these little slots with the the foam pattern. Um, there you go. Now at the end here, you can see the the two blenders that come with the Caran Dice Luminance set. Now a lot of you have probably used blenders before. If you haven't, basically what they are is uh, they're non-pigmented. Um, binder it's the same binding agents that they use in the actual pencils to hold the pigment together to give it that core uh, but these don't come in encased in wood now the Caran Dice Luminance pencils are round I'll go through that in a second but these um, blenders are hexagonal and basically they come like this and all you do is you sharpen it just like you would do any other pencil um, so let me put these back together and so, um, as you can see here, Swiss made by Caran Dash, so it has the Caran Dash uh, logo on the pencil. Uh, it has the name of the type of pencil that it is. This is the Luminance brand. Uh, on the very top of the pencil, you have the colour code. And then you have the name of the, the colour, so in this case this is violet. Uh, you have it in two languages. Uh, and then you have a, a colour code here, which is a 120, so that's the, the number that Caran Dice would correspond with that particular colour. Uh, on the side here, uh, it says permanent colour. And then probably one of the most important aspects of these pencils is the light fast rating. Now, the light fast of these pencils, it goes, uh, I think it's uh, 1, 2, 3. As you can see, this one's at 2. Uh, but out of the 76, 61 of them are rated at uh, light fast 1, which is the highest light fast rating that you can get in these particular pencils. Uh, 
the rest of them are, are two. I don't think there's a three in this set. I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check that and I'll put it down at the bottom. But I don't think there is. I think they're all either, like I say, one or two. And then on the end here you have uh, your barcode. Now, the important thing about when you're getting any colour pencils actually, is to make sure that when you're going to buy a set like this, um, it's a good idea to try and get the biggest set that you can afford. But before doing that, uh, it's, it's possibly wise to see if you can buy one or two pencils individually, try them out and see whether you like them before you go spending a lot of money. Like I say, this set cost me £189. Uh, which is a lot of money for colour pencils, believe me. I had to pick my wife up off the floor when I explained to her how much I had spent on these pencils. Um, but they are worth it. And I'll go through all the reasons why they're worth it in a second. But making sure whenever you invest in colour pencils, it's really important to make sure that the, the particular pencils you're buying are also sold in open stock which means that you can buy them individually now yes this cost me a lot of money this was 186 pounds or 89 pounds but whenever um, you know whenever one pencil runs down I can just buy an individual pencil I don't have to wait and you know go out and buy a whole new set or anything like that so so that's a real plus these pencils are are wax based as well but having said that they're not like the Prismacolors where you, you get a lot of bloom or anything like that it, it seems to be like a harder wax and it's not a very soft pencil although having said that the you know it lays down the color incredibly creamy and rich uh, if you compare them to the Faber Castell which are oil based you can definitely tell the difference when you're using them in terms of softness and hardness that type of thing but um, so they're, they're a wax based pencil first and foremost so let me move this off to the side and the color chart Okay, so this is the colour chart. When I got these pencils, I first uh, laid down a colour chart. Now, when I first bought these pencils, I really had no right in buying them. Uh, I just got into art. I wasn't very good at it. I'm still not exactly brilliant at it, but I had no right to buying them. Um, they, these pencils are for um, artists. Um, and it was just a silly move on my part. But I wanted them, and I went out and bought them in any case. But this just goes to show you how, how silly I was, because... At this particular stage, um, I didn't realise the importance of using good paper with good products or supplies. Uh, so this swatch that I've done is on um, pretty cheap paper. But nevertheless, you can still see the vibrancy of the colours that are laid down here on the, the paper. Obviously, I've gone from like a light pressure to a much heavier pressure just to get the, the, the range and colour that you can get from these coloured pencils. The next thing that I've done here is a few few little tests and as you can see here on the bottom I've used the primary colours yellow, blue and red. Uh, this one here I've used uh, Zested which is a solvent uh, for uh, blending the, the pencils. Um, let me see trying to get the best light in here. The light isn't that great at the minute. Um, but as you can see there, this is used with a, a solvent base and I, I really think that when I've done this I put too much solvent on it. As with the ring it was done as well with the solvent base and that's the name of the colours that I've used. Uh, moving across here, I just dry blended these together so you can see here with the yellow and red it got this beautiful orange. Uh, with the blue and yellow it got this really nice green and then with the red and blue uh, it it did get a purple but I think the blue I used was a little bit too dark I, might have, I should have maybe uh, used a lighter blue in that. Uh, this is a, a russet colour that's in the set and as you can see here that it's um, some some really beautiful colours that have come with the Karen Dash Luminance set. Um, at the top here this is um, a barrel green that I've used, and as you can see, this is a light pressure, medium pressure, uh, and a much heavier application. And you can see the range of the pencil whenever you're laying the, the colours down, that type of thing. Um, it's uh, really vibrant in colours. Um, this next test, what I'm going to do is with uh, using the eraser, 
show the, the different abilities of bringing the, the pigment off the page. Now, the paper that I'm using for this, it's not exactly everybody's cup of tea. Um, I've used the, um, the Strathmore uh, colour pencil paper. Uh, I know a lot of colour pencil artists don't really like it, but some artists uh, think it's okay. I've not really used a wide range of papers, uh, but the ones that I have used, uh, I, I like this. And the paper that I'm using here is the um, Strathmore colour pencil paper. So let me just zoom in a little bit here onto this, and we'll get on with these tests. So the first test I'm going to do is with this uh, Derwent electric, or electric razor, or razor, electric eraser. And as you can see there. It lifts the pigment off quite well. Uh, the next eraser that I'm going to use is this um, Faber-Castell pencil eraser. Uh, the, the eraser at the end here is slightly, slightly harder. off quite well with that as well. Uh, on the a slightly softer um, eraser it's the uh, the Derwent pencil eraser it has this little brush on the end of it uh, but as the, the the eraser on the end here is a little bit softer so um, there you go um, next, a lot of people like to use uh, the putty erasers whenever they're just wanting to have a little bit of pigment lifted off the, the page. So I'm using this Faber-Castell putty eraser. And I will just lift off a little bit of pigment towards the end here. And as you can see, it lifts off pretty well. And then finally, in terms of the erasers, I shall use um, this Tombow uh, mono eraser, which is uh, fantastic for whenever you're trying to get little bits of detail lifted off. As you can see, it it doesn't do a bad job, but it's not as good as some of the other erasers. Uh, so that's that's the erasability of the the pencils. Let me zoom back out here. Now, a lot of people ask as well what it's what these pencils are like sharpening them because I know a lot of people that use Prismacolors have problems with them. The, the, the sharpeners that I use, I have a, a multitude of sharpeners. I have this uh, Faber-Castell one. Uh, when you open it up, it has um, a few different sizes, obviously for bigger pencils and stuff like that. And I think this one over here is for the... Um, the colour grip that Faber-Castell do, you know with the, the rubber uh, grip holds on them. Uh, this little uh, Oxford one, which is just a, a little plastic cheap one. Um, and then I have these these other um, metal ones. Now I'm not going to show you me using all these erasers, but out of all the ones that I have used uh, on the, the Karen Dash luminance ones, pencils. This is uh, the best that I find uh, for the pencils. Again, you know, when you're using this, I, I do have an electric uh, eraser, but it's not it's not that great. And so when you're using this, I try to be as gentle as I can, making sure that I'm not bending the pencil or anything like that. And um, you can get a very very good point on this and when you're using these pencils you know the point there you go uh, the point does hold for a reasonable amount of time and uh, does give you uh, very very good accuracy whenever you are trying to get into little bits of uh, whatever work you're doing all in all 
there's no doubt about it. A lot of people say that the Caran Dance uh, Luminance pencils are the, the top of the line pencils uh, for colour pencil artists. And in my, in my opinion, they, they definitely are. Um, are they worth the money? Well, you know, if you're a good artist and you're producing um, work that people are wanting to buy or that you're wanting to hang in your house or whatever, um, yes, they, they definitely are. Because um, the people that, that are asking you to do commissions are going to have beautiful pieces that are going to last a long time. And that's important, I suppose, from um, someone that's buying a piece of art. From their perspective, it's really important. Um, in terms of other pencils on the market like the Faber-Castell Polychrome Moss and stuff like that, I am going to do a little bit of a comparison video later on so I don't want to go too in depth as to which ones I think are the best until that video. But for now that's the, the Caran Dice Luminance uh, review. I hope this has been uh, beneficial to you. If you need to ask any questions or you want to ask me any questions, please do so. Leave some co uh, questions in the comments section down below. You can also go across to my uh, website, colourpencilreviews.com and um, there's loads of information over there again about the, the, this review. You can ask me questions. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links for that will be down below in the comments section. And also if you go across to colourpencilreviews.com there's loads of links over there that will take you off to my Instagram page and uh, Facebook page and um, Twitter page as well. So thanks very much for watching this. The next video I'm going to do, uh, I've been asked by a couple of people to explain how to use colour pencils. Now I really don't think I'm the best person to, to do that video because I think there's many more people better um, qualified to do that than I am. But I have been asked to do it. And I've been asked to do it from the perspective of someone new coming into colour pencils. So when I was asked to do it on that basis, I thought to myself, well, that's not a bad idea because I am new. Um, and everything I have learned has been from other artists, other colour pencil artists. So the next video I'm going to do is one, showing you how to use colour pencils. Because the first time I got colour pencils, I had no idea how to use them properly. Um, I hadn't watched all the blogs and all the rest of it. And so... I thought they were a waste of money until I started learning how to use them properly. So that's going to be my next video and uh, after that then we'll be back on to the reviews. So thanks very much guys, thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.